Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, we're going to give you a quick update on a Ricoh Sit X specific great secret feature called retrospective video. When I was reading through all the user manuals, I found a secret feature called retrospective video, but I didn't quite get the ideas. Until recently, I figured out a brand new article on the CEDA lab here on my MacBook Pro. I also share with you screen capture. Let's explain to me the technical detail behind this retrospective video. So now I have finally understand what is the retrospective video and when do you need it and how to use retrospective video in your content creation. So first you need to open up your Sita X and the next one, switch back to the video mode. So hold on to long press, hold on the shutter button for more than half seconds. Let's take a look at that. Did you see that? Now, recording, standby. Did you see that? Recording, standby. That is to say we are now in the retrospective video. So when this camera is standing by, it's actually keep recording the videos for us for a period of two seconds. So we update the two seconds video until you release this shutter button. And this camera start recording just like normal, but when you stop recording, it will save the two second video ahead of time. The two seconds content before you release the shutter button has been saved in your final video. And it looks like the Cita X give you a two seconds video buffer ahead of time. To know more about that, let's go to see the lab, see the screen capture, and see what Rico trying to explain the retrospective video in the official sentences. Introducing the shooting functions of Rico Cita X, definitely check this out. I know all this feature except the retrospective video. So when I scroll down where I found this retrospective video, take a look at that. You can pre-roll videos by pressing and holding the shutter button for half seconds or longer in the video shooting mode while the shutter release button is held down. The camera goes into movie recording standby mode and will pre-roll two second video before the moment when you release the shutter button. This way, you won't miss some key moments. And this is a, and this is a flow chart explained to you the retrospective video. So in the normal video shooting modes, first you, you have the live preview on the screen before take the shot and press the shutter button. After this shutter time lag, the video will be kept recording and saving to the final MP4 file. So there's gonna be a shutter lag time approximately one second on the Cita X. So this arrow, this right arrow, is any identifies the moment when you click the shutter button. Uh, so different from the normal video when you are shooting in retrospective videos, that first you also get a live preview, and then second press and hold the shutter button. And and, and coming next, the Cita X we also experience a shutter time lag for around one second. And then CDX will keep recording, keep recording, keep refreshing this two second time space in the video buffer. And when you release the shutter button, the camera will uh, take the save the files, uh, keep recording one second after another. But when you save the MP4 file, you will notice that there are two extra second, the two second video content before you release the shutter button. The only two second video are kept in the buffer. Anything before is continuously discarded. But we have experienced similar features on the GoPro or even the DJI Action 2. But uh, Rico Theta has designed this feature quite different from any other competitors. So for the GoPro, when you enable this uh, pre-shooting feature, the GoPro will kept recording, the kept recording kept recording the one second, two second before you press the shutter button. It consumes a lot of battery and it's not that controllable. The camera will never know when to start or when to stop. But CTX has different methodology that the users will first try to trigger the camera into this retrospective video and later to save the specific two second video in the buffer and save to your final MP4 file. This is a more user-friendly design and also saves a lot 
battery life. For example, at a graduation ceremony for your kids, if you hold down the shutter button and wait for them to come to stage, and then to release the shutter button in the moment when you see them, the camera still captures two seconds prior to you release the shutter button. It eliminates the need to start shooting extra early, then have to cut down the video, while also make sure you don't miss the moments that happens suddenly. It's a great hidden feature on the Cetan X that makes the Cetan X a lot more useful, a lot more friendly in our everyday content creation, especially when you want to capture some exciting moments, something important in your life. So this is not just a two second video buffer in the memory, it actually gives you a two seconds buffer in your life. So finally, let's give a test shot. Okay, now I'm gonna give a test shot on the Cita X on the retrospective video. I'm now going to read out this articles on the Cita lab. But uh, first, I will long press and enable entering the retrospective video. And you can see it now gives me a two second time code, time, time step, the recording standby. And now I'm going to read out the sentences and after the first sentence, at graduation ceremony for your kids, and then I will release this shutter button. For example, at graduation ceremony for your kids, if you hold down the shutter button and wait for them to come to stage, then release the shutter button the moment you see them, the camera is still captured two seconds prior to you release the shutter button. This eliminates you to need to start shooting extra early and have to cut down the video, while also make sure you don't miss the moment that happens suddenly stop recording that is all about this video if you found this video helpful please don't forget to sum up subscribe and hit the notification bell stay safe see you next time bye